Welcome back to Medically Speaking. I'm Dr. Morris, and today I'm going to tell you about three myths about creatine. So let's debunk them. The first one, kidney failure. Creatine does not have any side effects on someone who does not have kidney problems already. The main reason behind this myth is the misunderstanding of the waste product of creatine which is called creatinine. Creatinine is the waste product that comes from the breakdown of creatine in your muscles and the digestion of protein from your food. Normally, your kidneys filters creatinine from your blood and remove it from your body in your urine. If your kidneys are not working properly, creatinine levels will build up in your blood. A blood test can be used to measure creatinine levels and assess your kidney function. Taking creatine can affect the results of your creatinine blood test. So you have to stop taking creatine two to four weeks prior your blood test. And as long as you stick to the right dose, the high creatinine levels will not damage your kidneys. The second one is hair loss. The reason behind this myth is a study done on a number of rugby college players for three weeks. The results showed an increase in DHT, which is a form of testosterone called dehydrotestosterone. DHT is linked to genetic hair loss or androgenetic alopecia. Testosterone turns into DHT using an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. Creatine increases this enzyme in your body which leads to a higher DHT level which also results in hair loss or that's what they thought. Multiple studies were done in the future and showed that taking creatine does not have anything to do with increasing testosterone DHT or anything related to that which debunks the hair loss myth. The third one is weight gain or let me say fat gain if I'm specific. Taking creatine will result in weight gain but that's called intracellular water retention which means your body will hold water inside of your muscles not under your skin not outside of your muscles not on your belly it will be inside of your muscles that will help you with building strength and building the muscle itself to a larger size because muscles are 80 percent water the strength part comes from generating atp which is the main role of creatine we will talk about that in a future video so subscribe if you want to see that going back to speaking about fat gain the only reason why you would gain fat is caloric surplus not creatine creatine does not cause fat gain only caloric surplus or deficit will decide if you will gain or lose fat not weight weight is water weight muscle weight and fat you do not measure your weight gain just by fat if you're losing weight and you're not training you'll be losing a lot of muscle not just fat so when you regain that muscle you regain that weight in conclusion the FDA allowed creatine supplementation without any medical supervision as long as you stick to the right dose and speaking about the right dose you have two main ways to supplement with creatine either by taking a loading phase which is 20 grams of creatine per day for seven days and then you go back to the normal dose which is three to five grams per day or by starting with three to five grams per day and going your whole life with that they are exactly the same you will see results faster with the loading phase but you will get to the exact same point do i recommend taking creatine yes if you are training and looking to build muscle you can take creatine is it essential no not at all not every person should take creatine even if you're lifting weights you do not have to take creatine if you're not looking to get jacked or big and even if you're taking it and not getting any benefit or not seeing any muscle growth you have to stop taking it if you're taking an unknown shady brand just throw that away and take some reputable known brand that's third party tested. Third party testing is when a company takes the product and tests it in their laboratories to see if the ingredients that are mentioned on the nutrition label are right. Third party testing is the only way to know that this is a reputable company. Other than that, there is no regulation on these supplements. So take care of yourself, look for a reputable company, eat right and train right, and you will see a great benefit from taking creatine. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, comment down below what you wanna know about next, and I'll see you in the next one.